The three black women in this video are gonna give Joe Biden the keys to the castle. They're gonna tell him exactly what he needs to do in order to win the black vote. Then we're gonna listen to Jim Clyburn try to make excuses for Joe Biden's low approval numbers. Let's go. People are wondering what is he doing in terms of police accountability and criminal justice reform. Lang also says the president better show up more. People always want to see um, people actually paying attention. And sometimes that means being able to physically be here and engage. I like this. She's on to something here. You know, because police reform is important, but it's not as important as economics. I like that she has a plan, but just getting rid of cops ain't gonna solve it. We need an economic ladder. We need ability to build wealth and, and create businesses of our own. Some incentives, some ways to do that. We need we need the government to meet us halfway. That's that's all we need. We need we need a ladder. We'll do the work, but we need a ladder to get that opportunity. That's what we need. I like this start, sister. I like I like where you're going with this. Black turnout soared here in the Obama years, but it dropped in 2016 and was flat in 2020. On a scale of one to 10, how would you grade the Joe Biden presidency in terms of its impact on your life and your community? A four. Uh, what'd you say? I couldn't hear you. S say that again. How would you grade the Joe Biden presidency in terms of its impact on your life and your community? A four. A four. <laughs> I like it. You start off strong. That's why I call him out. I would have gave him a two. But a four, okay. You're more reasonable than me. You're a little bit nicer than I am. Okay. Stay, keep the pressure on him now. Don't be nice. It's that time to be nice. He's not going to offer you a job. So just tell him the truth. A four. Yeah, and I love Joe. What do you, what do you mean? He, you love him. Why? Why? He give you a birthday present? Give you a new car? What, what did he do to make you love him? When he was clipping the legs up under the railroad workers? What, what was it? When he was standing out there with the United Auto Workers pretending to be with them in solidarity for like 20 seconds? What did he do actually? Sending money to Ukraine? What, what was nice? What made your heart skip a beat? What made it flutter? When he was what? When he was falling down the steps or forgetting who his wife was? What, what did he do exactly? Devette Baker though sees a reason for optimism. The alternative is the man whose name I try not to say. Well, I'll say it. Um, <laughs> when we sit, as we sit here today, the likely alternative is Donald Trump. Right. Would that be enough to motivate people, even if maybe they're a little eh on Biden? I think so. You started off strong, then you let me down. Jesus. You know, it's this fear of Trump is not enough. It's not, not going to be enough. We gave, we let him in the door. We let him in. We gave him a job, and now you're gonna let you're gonna let you're gonna say that. Oh, cause Trump, we're gonna we're gonna put up with more. We're gonna we've already did our part. You did your part, sister. It's his turn. I hope that I hope the next sister is not gonna play games. Joanna Brooks is one such voter. She owns a yoga studio just across the Milwaukee line in Glendale. All right, Shaw. Like many we met in the city, Brooks says black voters get taken for granted. Black people in general, I think, tend to be pretty loyal to the Democratic Party. Um, and sometimes I wonder, just based on how that party has performed thus far for people of color, if we should continue to be. Okay. All right, Joanna, I like this. You know, pretty strong a yoga teacher, somebody with some discipline. It's going to be discipline's going to tell the Democrats exactly what's up and let Biden know on no uncertain terms what's up with him and why we upset. But check this out. The whole people of color thing. I don't know about that part. You know, people of color weren't slaves. Black people were. I, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, black people built America for free against our will. Okay, not people of color, but okay. Give it to him, Miss Brooks. Handle business. Downward dog the hell out of him. But Brooks says that accountability exercise must wait until after 2024 because of constant Republican attacks on abortion rights and voting rights. I grew up almost certain that my rights were guaranteed. Right, I took it for granted. And now as I sit and watch the work of so many black folks during the civil rights movement, uh, so many women who fought for women's rights, when I see all of their work slowly being undone, that was a, a wake up call for me. For 
Ah, you just giving away everything just because the Republicans, there's always going to be Republicans. We cannot operate out of fear. We got to operate from a position of strength. They want our vote. You can't get a W if we're not going to get what we need. And we're not going to get that being afraid that we're going to lose something from Republicans. You got to understand, the Democratic Party is blackmailing us. Blackmail? That's right, blackmail. They're blackmailing us. What? Well, he's blackmailing us? Not me, they're blackmailing us. The Democrats are saying, pay us, give us what we want, and those guys, those Republicans, won't come take everything you own. Hell, they'll even put you back in chains. But if you get us, we'll protect you. Ted, are you blackmailing me? What? No, blackmailing? All you gotta do is give us your votes, and support, and donations. And don't complain. That's all you got to do. And what we'll give you is no Republicans coming over to break your leg. That sounds like blackmail. Blackmail? In his first Clyburn clip, Clyburn is going to defend Joe Biden. He throws young people under the bus. According to a recent ABC News Ipsos poll, President Biden's approval rating has dropped to a new low, 33%. Are you concerned that his numbers are trending in the wrong direction? Well, I don't think that's a trend. I think that's an outlier. Uh, I have seen polls recently that said not only is he being approved, but his numbers uh, show that he's leading Trump. I've seen two polls saying that, but I've seen other polls saying differently. These snapshots are taken at certain times, and when you are uh, polling young people, and young people are not being told what's been done, uh, then that's a problem. So I, I feel real good about where the campaign is. I think we are beginning to break through uh, simply because we are having complete reporting rather than the incomplete reporting that was being done before. Okay, I want you to really think about what Jim Clyburn just said there. He said that Joe Biden was at 37% approval because it's a snapshot of time. Folks, all polls are a snapshot in time. Every poll that's ever done is at a snapshot in time. Now, we look at this poll, 37% of Americans, only 37% approve of him, 57 disapprove of him. No president in the history of presidents who've ever been reelected have ever scored that low in a poll at this time in the presidency. I repeat, makes this clear, guys. Never, ever has another president who won a re-election ever had poll numbers this slow. Not Obama, not Bush, not Clinton, none of them, okay? Not Reagan, none of them. He is, has the lowest numbers in his third year as president. Oh, and when he says this. I feel real good about where the campaign is. I think we are beginning to break through. What do you mean Joe Biden's message is starting to break through. I don't understand what that means. Every morning, the press secretary is up there at the White House saying whatever Joe Biden wants him to say. Whatever the administration wants her to say, that's exactly what she's saying. Those communication lines, one thing you cannot pretend is that you don't have access, access to the media when you are the president of the United States of America. He can sit down with anybody at any time and get any type of message out. Nah, you don't be president for three and a half years, and then say, hey, we're finally starting to get our message out there. People finally getting to see what we're made of. They're finally getting the point of what we've been trying to do. No, Joe Biden has an executive pen. And with that pen, he's been able to write executive orders. And he's been able to get in front of anybody at any time. There was not a newspaper on earth that would not sit down with Joe Biden and let him talk and tell his story. Now, Joe Biden, his numbers suck. Because Joe Biden sucks. That's why his numbers suck. Don't listen to any of the shields from the Democratic Party tell you anything different. Because one thing that Joe Biden has not been is disenfranchised. It's been muffled. Has been silenced. Or deplatformed. Or censored. No. That's what happens to critics of Joe Biden. That's not what happens to Joe Biden. Okay? In this next clip, Jim Clyburn is going to talk about black voters. He's going to make every excuse in the world for why Joe Biden's support amongst black voters ain't much better 
that it support with the rest of the country. But that drops down to 32 percent amongst black Americans under the age of 50. Are you concerned? I'm concerned with the reporting of this. Yes. When I see those numbers, you know, I, my goodness, if there's any truth to the numbers, which I don't believe them, because I talk to black people all the time. Uh, I have three <laughs> black daughters. They tell me differently. Uh, my grandchildren tell me differently. So I don't know where those numbers are coming from, but when you ask a question and someone is basing their opinion on incomplete information or misinformation, and the, the other side seem to be pretty good at misinformation. Folks, Joe Biden's numbers are low with America in general. His numbers are also low with black folks. What has Joe Biden done? for black folks particularly that will make those numbers higher. You know, other than have Jim Clyburn as his friend. What has he done specifically for black folks that will make those numbers higher than rest of the rest of America? I know that you're going to have a lot of liars, people that are paid to support him, people that their whole careers rest on the Democratic Party who are going to pretend that the things that Joe Biden has done have been to help black people. You know, like that stimulus package where the numbers, where the money was less than he said it was going to be. Or the, the student reduction. Oh, that, that's, that was for us. That was just for black people. If it was just for black people, why didn't it say, hey, black people, here's your check. Joe Biden and the Democratic Party did not do anything specifically for black Americans. They never pretended to have done anything they never said they did anything. They never said, hey, look what we did. If they did something for black Americans besides give us a holiday we already had called Juneteenth, said they're going to put Harriet Tubman on a $50 bill and did not do it, they would have been talking about it. It would be everywhere. And Jim Clyburn would be naming it right now. But he can't say it. All he can say is, and Joe is my friend, and we should support him Above all else, that's all Jim Clyburn has. It's a bunch of tough talk, no facts, no data. Remember, guys, Jim Clyburn is a surrogate for Joe Biden. He comes out. He doesn't give any numbers. He doesn't give you any statistics about how great people are doing. He doesn't say, hey, this is, instead he says, I talked to my daughter. Representative Clyburn, with all due respect, we don't give a damn about your daughter what she thinks about the Democratic Party, how great Joe Biden's doing. What we care about is how great our bank accounts look. What we care about is you can send money to Israel. What we care about is the money you send to Ukraine. What we care about all the homeless people in the United States. What we care about all the problems affecting us. We do not care what your little tiny group of black elites think about Joe Biden. What, we, what you should care about are what regular working class people think about Joe Biden because those are the people that vote. In this last clip, because Joe Biden has, a, has horrible numbers with everybody, we're going to have Jim Clyburn make one final excuse. One final excuse. I don't know if you saw this coming. But this is the latest talking point, and believe me, they told Jim Clyburn to say this, because this is part of the Democratic playbook. So I don't know where those numbers are coming from, but when you ask a question and someone is basing their opinion on incomplete information or misinformation, and the, the other side seems to be pretty good at misinformation, we know what happened in the last election. They didn't stop when the election was over. It's still going on now. So there's a lot of misinformation going on out here. There are a lot of things being said that's just not true. Well, there you have it, folks. Jim Clyburn says the Russians did it. That's right, folks, the Russians did it. When all else fails, you have nothing else that you can blame. You try to point it to young people and say, young people just don't know how to think. You point over at the blacks and say, the blacks are just being misinformed by Russia. Yeah, because you got nowhere else to go. You say that Joe Biden has been somehow kept down by the man. Folks, 
Joe Biden is the man. Yeah, Joe Biden is the man. He controls the military. He controls nuclear bombs. But somehow he wants us to believe, Jim Clyburn wants us to believe, that what's stopping Joe Biden from rising in the polls is some Russian somewhere trolling. You know, the same people that troll you on TikTok or Twitter or X or Facebook or even YouTube comment sections. Those are the same people that are stopping us from thinking that Joe Biden is doing a great job. It's not our bank accounts being low. It's not our taxes being high. It's not the bombing in Israel that has a bunch of young people pissed off. The genocide that Israel is committing against the Palestinians that Joe Biden is paying for. The bombs in Ukraine that Joe Biden is paying for. All the other problems that are going around in the country. No, 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 it's none of that. It's some people with bad polling data. The bad polling people. Notice how they don't say that when the polls are better. Then they say the polls are great. But when the polls don't say what they want them to say, then the polls have been taken over by aliens, zombies, voodoo. Jim Clyburn is a disgrace, not only to Congress, not only to South Carolina, but to all the black people. All the black people that try to tell me time and time again, Tim, you need to be nicer to the Democrats. Why? They're not nicer to us. It sent Jim Clyburn out here to gaslight us, to tell us that what we think isn't true, that we're not being realistic. All because they want to win without giving us anything. It's real simple, folks. Do tangible things that make people see what you're doing. And you'll win. If you don't, you won't. At some point, we got to recognize that the Democratic Party is playing a game with us. They do just a little bit more than the Republicans, on certain things, and they want you to believe that that's all they could do. I don't think that's all they could do. I think they could do a lot more than what they do. And if we don't hold the line, if we don't force them to, they never will. People love saying to Tim Black, oh, he's so tough on the Democrats. If you don't make demands of the Democratic Party, you'll never get anything out of them. And those people that are telling you that Joe Biden's doing a great job, they're basically just repeating everything Clyburn said. Whether it's Jasmine Crockett telling you how, you just don't understand how Congress works. But you know what? You know, Maybe you're right. Maybe some Americans don't realize how Congress works. But they know how their mortgage works. They know how their rent works. They know how their retirement plan works. And they know the math ain't math. And when you're president, the buck stops with you. If you don't want the buck to stop with you, don't be president. Thanks for watching this latest Tim Black video. If you enjoyed our content, click subscribe and turn on all notifications. I'll see you on the next one. And remember, it's a new day. Happy New Year.